This playthrough is rated M for mature. Or we get this. Well, that almost looks uh, suggestive, if you know what I mean. This is the next moment of looking down at the collapsing world. It's, it's the top of Hanayashi Space Shot. We can see the new world really well from here, right? Like she says, this place gives us a great look, a good look of Asakusa. Though it's not in the best state now. I really wanted to see it before it vanished completely. To me, this is an important reality after all. After staying at Asakusa for a while, Rain-san opens her mouth. Like I said before, they might be awkward, but take good care of Judgment 7. Guide them like the director you are. The only one who can do this that now is you, not me. Alright! I nod to her. You seem to be more confident than before. It doesn't look like I have to worry. Rain-san sighs in relief. Then she lines her tone and continues speaking. I got to say, I didn't think that you'd be the one, only last one left. Looks like the god that I hated actually smiled at me one last time. Why do you care if I'm last? Wouldn't you want Natsumi to be last or something? I'm not quite sure what to make of her words. About Sakai Kun Auto Deletion Program. He named it the Fall in Love and Commit Suicide Program. That's fucked up, dude. Fall in Love and Commit Suicide? Like Romeo and Juliet or something like that? Now that's one weird name. This is really a strange program in that it doesn't have a command that runs it. Well, rather, it doesn't have a command that runs it from the outside. The only thing that can initiate the auto-deletion program is the program that has it installed. In this case, it means that only I can do it. That's why not even Sakai-kun can do anything when I run it. Once rain is on activates of her own volition, there's nothing I can do. I remember what awari san said words. Of course, no normal program would run this auto-deletion program on their own. This was some meaningless research on Sakai Kun's part. It's practically useless. That's true. I can't really think of a situation where a program would desire its own deletion. Yeah, suicide. Or will commit suicide, and that's messed up. In fact, programs can't even desire. I can't understand why Warisan would even code something like this. But Sakai Kun made this program while picturing a future where programs can have personalities. Even though that only one thing can make a program with a personality want to delete itself. And that would be the moment when it falls in love with someone. Did you fall in love with me? Love? Yes, he thought that it would lament the fact that a human and a program can never be together and delete itself. That's why Sakai that's what Sakai Kun thought anyway. So that's the meaning behind the fall in love and commit suicide program name. Sakai Kun is actually quite the romantic. Normally I'd laugh at the idea that the Supreme Love Lord of Perverts is a romantic, but hearing about this program makes me reconsider. But before he disappeared, I told him that the name should be changed, specifically into the Fall in Love and Disappear Happy program. Eh? I mean, I'm really happy right now, and after all, I get to disappear while feeling love. Really? She, she fell in love with me? That doesn't make sense! I mean, I, I assume her ending, which apparently is not a complete, uh, like, you know, just to let you know, she has an ending. But apparently it's not a, like a real ending because you don't get to the epilogue and all that. Because it, it stops the game in like chapter 16 or something like that. Well, maybe I'll show it. I don't know. But yeah, apparently it stops early because, you know, it's it's probably something like this. I bet. So, uh, similar to this, maybe. Fall, uh, fall in love and disappear happy program. So that's what she whispered to Warrison back then. Upon hearing that, Awarison smiled while crying. I bet I bet it meant just love for her friends or something like that, because that'd be weird for her to just fall in love with me. That'd be just be weird. That's surely because or that's surely because he found out that Rainson is going out happy. And the fat must have been made him feel relieved. I see, you're in love, huh? Or say, I, I see, you're in love, huh? Rainson looks at me like she can't believe me. What? You still... Uh, you... Uh, you... Uh, don't get it? You really are a generic light -like novel protagonist. I can't help but feel bad for the girls. Yeah, most... It's so stupid a lot of, like, main protagonists have, like, all these girls jump in them and they're like, Oh, why are they acting so weird? And you're like, are you freaking kidding me? Remember what I said? I didn't think that you'd be the last one left. Looks like God actually smiled upon me. Or the devil's laughing his ass off. You still don't understand. Uh, I gasp a little. That's enough of a hint even for me. Then, she loves me? That doesn't make sense. Seriously, I don't think we really had enough of a moment to, like, warrant love. I would have loved to have met you when I was alive, Richie-kun. As I'm always, as I'm always, as, pfft, as I'm still overcome by a surprise, she slowly begins her, uh, brings her face to mind. She gently pushes her lips onto my cheek. <laughs> Score, second base. It's a moment that feels like an eternity. 
She then distanced herself and gives me a bashful smile. This is the end. I'm sure they'll tolerate this much. The scenery is all pure white at this point. Is she still recording? <laughs> no, just kidding. Marina saw herself is turning into light and vanishing too. It looks like she'll disappear before I wake up. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up to like, you know, kill yourself because you need to do that. But then you tell the MC you love him, even though we really didn't have a scene. And he's like, dude, I did. We could have had more time together. Fuck me. No. Looks like she'll disappear before I awaken. Raise on. Don't worry. Like I said, I fell in love and now I'm departing happy. What about me? What about my feelings? Come on now. She gives me the bright, genuine smile she gave me before. Thank you, Reiji Kun, for my first and final love. Yeah, it was kind of pathetic that you fell in love with me. Dot, dot, dot. I can barely see her anymore. My consciousness is fading too. Rain us on. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks for making him feel like a man. I see her off with a smile that surely matches hers. A moment after she vanishes, the world is drowned in white, and I can see I can't see anything anymore. And so I return to reality. Cool. Oh, are we found we is do we have the credits now? Oh, the real credits. Alright. So the game is over. So well, not quite. We still have the endings to get to, but um, I guess I could re re relate this game now that I've beaten it, the real true ending. Um, I think I still feel the same about the game overall. Although I felt like uh, I felt like the extra ending did did add a few things and and fill up a few holes. I generally had a good idea, a pretty good idea of what the uh, um. I'll have to talk through this just because I'm I'm sh I don't want to. Well, you know you can probably find it online or something like that, but. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I, I still feel the game's still like a 5 or a 6 out of 10. Um, I still don't really like the characters all that much overall. They're too extreme. And and I know that you kind of have to do that to make them like stand out. But it was almost to the point of annoyance, really. You know, I got so frustrated with the characters after this whole time. But I don't want to be a whole ass through this whole thing because of replaying again. I did spend another, like, how many hours did I see? Two hours for that previous one. And then another two and a half hours for the chapter 17 story, which I'm splitting up into like five or six episodes. Good lord. I spent another five hours on this game after saying I didn't want to do it anymore. You game? No. But, uh, um, but, but yeah, this is definitely a lot more appropriate uh, apart from the uh, 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 regular ending or whatever it is. So, uh... But yeah, I mean, it had some interesting ideas, and like I said, the game made me laugh a few times, and uh, and some a few surprise moments. Not many, but there were a few. Um, but uh, oh, there's a, there's a bra we wore later on. Um, but I can't completely hate this game. Like I said, it, it's a it's a visual novel, so you're gonna get a hit or miss out of it from people because obviously it has no gameplay. I mean, it has those choices and things, but that's it, which is what visual novels are. At least with Ghost Hunters, it had an RPG element, which was actually kind of fun. Not perfect, but it was still entertaining, which is why I like that game a lot more than this by far. Even though it didn't have a crazy uh, original story either, but at least, you know, at least it was entertaining in other gameplay aspects. But, uh, um, but I guess if I had, a, had to say the character, if we talk about characters, I guess the one I like the most is probably Sakai. I guess, out of all of them. Um, and even then, that's like a big if, because all the characters are kind of assholes in their own way when you think about it. Um, and of course, the main character is a, a standard light novel idiot. And they point that out so many times, like, oh, we're talking about the trope, but we're still using the trope. And I'm like, okay, that doesn't make it better, dudes. You know? Um, oh, there's the shaved ice of a, uh, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, the story was basically okay. The music wasn't bad. There was a few, few not bad uh, tracks. Now I'll have to turn down the, I'll have to turn down the music here. This is kind of loud, um, but I'll do that in editing. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, God, I'm trying to think what else to say about this that I can really think of. Um, yeah, I wish. I definitely wish that, like, like before. I wish they had a pro better proofreader. You know, I should have been watching the credits to see who the proofreader was. Script overview. You guys are to blame. Although they're probably not to blame for the English translation. Who did the English translation uh, proofreading needs to be shot? Well, okay, it wasn't that terrible, but there was a lot of mess ups in there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I still feel the same, even with, even with beating the game with the, with the new ending. 
you know. Although I, I wasn't as dickish through the re through the rest of the replay as I was previously, so I try to tone it down a bit because I'm usually not like that. It's just, you know, some of the bad writing and some of the tropes just got to me so much because I, I basically record this game like straight, almost back to back for multiple weeks straight to try and get this out. And I end up recording like, I think by the time this will be done, it'll be like 120 episodes. And of course, if I decide to do the rest of the innings, that's another, you know, five or six episodes if I do that. So, so I don't even know if I, I still want to do that or not, you know. Um, but uh, um, actually, Tatiana wasn't 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 too bad as a character. She was a your typical annoying character, but she wasn't as annoying as as some of the, uh, as like Asano is really annoying and you uh, Natsumi. I'm sorry, I just do not like those two characters they're just annoying i kind of don't want to get their endings just because you know i want to in spite of it uh anyway oh it's still going on god damn it game uh um yeah i would definitely i would definitely send this game back i would definitely not put it in my in my list of uh of, of like classic visual novel stories to keep in my collection you know, go download download the games I mentioned before, like Steins Gate or or Fate or uh, or Dongarapo or or Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright is technically a visual novel with like fun uh, courtroom mechanics. Uh, that would be, yeah, maybe I should play that one sometime just to, because that one's story is actually pretty good for the most part. Um, I'm trying to think of some other visual novels I played. Like, oh, I like that Ghost Hunter. I like that one. For the most, I mean, it wasn't perfect. It had some issues, but I still enjoyed it because of the RPG elements and ghost hunting part of it. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what else I've... I don't play a lot of visual novels because, you know, I could read my standard books and re I read those instead, instead of the visual novels. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess I'm glad I played it, but, you know, like, like I said multiple times throughout the game, I just... イルカ君、朝野、Oh boy. Well, that was long. <laughs> and so are... Oh, we ended the 17 chapters, so this must be that blog. Um, do I want to uh, call it or... now? we'll just keep going and I'll just I'll just make it its own episode, I think. So, But yeah, I think we're in the epilogue part now. Because I, I was looking at the trophy guide too, and there's there's an epilogue scene for probably the endings and some of the other minor things on it. So, uh, so yeah, we'll just... Uh, I'll probably end up cutting it here and then uh, like here for the episode part and then make this that blood part. So anyway, so, and so our great battle for Tokyo reached its conclusion. Little did we know, however, that this was merely the start of yet another battle. Oh God, no, please let it be over. No more. There's no sequels. To, oh, well, this game only came out like last year or something like that. So there won't be any sequels yet. It's not that good of a story, dude, that needs to warrant a sequel. Oh, come on, how am I supposed to complete three whole pieces before next week? Oh, that's the next trial. The next trial is actually making the game. The air conditioner is still broken. The heat is killing us all, and now Asana is shouting. Asana, quit your whining. All of us have murderous schedules. Asumi san stops talking and gives Wari san a glare that could kill. That's all because of this pervert with no forethought to speak of. Hehehe. <laughs> Wari san laughs irresponsibly. It's crunch time for us now, 24-7 in fact. We're all too busy with World in Heaven's development, or World in Heaven development. Well, most companies go through crunch in the final final hours or whatever. And like Natsumi-san said, the cause of it all is a worry san His and rain sans operation staff role had the effect we all expected. Two days have passed since we destroyed the Akashic server and we're still all still safe. Lab 13 and the light don't seem to be taking any action, and it doesn't look like they'll harm us anytime soon. At least according to Miyabi-san and D.I.H., if we were, if we were, if we were to disappear following this announcement, the public would make a pretty big deal out of it. That might bring attention to Lab 13. That's why taking physical action against us now is a suicide act for both them and the organization behind it. 
Warzone wasn't wrong about that in the least. However, the reaction to that video was completely unexpected. It spread at speeds we couldn't hope to expect and got an astronomical amount of views. Do we get any money for it? And of course, we can't forget to tell about the end. Judge of Seven's next game, World in Heaven. More details and sub live at August 31st. Don't miss it. What, we're supposed to finish it within a couple weeks? Dude, many people saw it and naturally they were treated and anticipating what, anticipating what is to come. We even have fan, fanatics passionate enough to make a countdown site. Really? Honestly, the situation is beyond our control now. That well, is fiction. So, to make it through the sub live, we need to prepare at least some gameplay footage. And that's why it's crunch time for us. Oh, it doesn't have to be done. We just have to have something ready. Sorry, I understand making an announcement, but it did have to be August 31st. Could give us more time. Then Sansa gets mad at Warisan. Of course she would. You don't understand. You can't waste too much time with stuff like this. Yeah, the world, the internet, it never, it never forgets, but a person does. You gotta release the next piece of info where the viewers are still interested. He explains his position with a grin on his face, but Sansa's anger doesn't abate. Asumi San's too is still look. No, Sami San too is still looking at him with a murderous glare. Understand that the odds are against him, and San suddenly looks at me. Hey, there's no need to worry. Our dear advanced director is going doing good work. Awari San, don't push the responsibility on me. An advanced director? What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Why you've been promoted? Of course, you're no longer the assisting director. Be happier. Don't worry. I'll be happy. It's hard to be genuinely be glad about all this. It's still just AD when you shorten it, after all. Also, the things I'm doing and the things you're make, all making me do are exactly the same as before. <laughs> well, whatever the case, do your best to make it through the sub live on August 31st. He acts like the conversation's over, he didn't actually listen to anything I said. Man, this guy. It was with the way he said that. Do your best to make it through the sub live. Why is he acting like it's none of his business? Wait, is he actually planning to make me do something for the live stream? There's no way, right? I pushed the thought from my mind. What, wear a bra, bra or something like that? Sasan, Natsumi san, and I all resume our work. Suddenly, Ruka san talks to Wari san. Sakai, I believe the world in heaven's world setting. Oh, then send over to me, Regikun. Regikun, what? Or, yeah. Regikun, what you have it, read it through it and make a simple narr narration notes, will you? We'll have you to read them on the stream. Uh, Alright, all yeah, have a hot girl read them. There you go, that's how it works. That's how you get all the views, man. Compared to the Drury tour so far, this is way more creative and exciting, so I don't hesitate to nod. Stranding complete! I get a mail on my PC. Thank you, Rukasan. Quickly open the attached file and. Um, a Rukasan? What is it, Reggie? Is it? It's just that. Isn't it a bit too much text? file sent me a sent as a document, document with a ridiculous high number of words. There's thousands of them, maybe even tens of thousands. Wow, that's quite a few novels. It probably takes me a whole night to read through it all. Or a, or it's a or it's a law. <laughs> Get a grip, Reggie. This is just a, a feel of the whole thing. This is just a feel? Huh. All I could do is sigh. I can't even imagine how hard it is to turn this into narration notes. Still have to do my best to get this into a summary. I've heard it's actually hard to do a summary or a synopsis for things because it, it's, you have to condense like this whole story into like a few, like a paragraph or, or less than a paragraph, you know? I gather my wits and start reading what Rukasan wrote. The outer realm exists within the endless time and boundless space. It's a dimensional, a different dimension that can only be perceived by logic surpassing, surpassing humanity. Countless space time researchers has ventured out to search for the qua quest barm stone that produces the energy but never returned to life. This is a world based on science fiction, not like fantasy, right? All those who enter the realm are bound by the chains of time and break those chains of love. And no people can stay there without being called cold. The only way to come back out of this alive is the Zodiac operation that uses the law of reincarnation. What are we, Xeno Gears now? Or, or yeah, Xeno Gears? Or, uh, or it's a uh, weird sequel, uh, Xeno... What was it? Xenosaga? Jesus. But the but that requires the release of the seven taboo. Seven taboo? What like mother and son? Ah no. Blah. Forget it. Yoka's karma and sorry, but I already don't understand it at all. I just a few lines in, but I'm already shouting about how, how needlessly complex it is. Rukasan, did you tell Rainsan that you try to be more that, didn't you tell Rainsan that you try to be more considerate of normal people's with your work? Why did it end up like this? 
I be considerate. It's way more easier to understand than usual. No, it didn't change at all. It has you written all over it, right, Awari san? Ask for Awari's agree son's agreement. Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, do your best with the work while keeping the Ruka factor. There's some irresponsibility, not committal advice. He could at least read Aruka-san's work, but, because that's clearly not what he's doing. He also seems to be drooling. I look at his PC low, and he's watching a porn site. A why, son? Shouldn't you be working? Also, it's noon, you know. That's nah, never too old to watch porn. What? Do you see this program screen as something else? Like a porn site? He makes a serious face. That's a problem. Lab 13 might be still be continuing their augmented reality. Don't pretend like don't pretend like something more than it is. Just look through Rukasan's world setting. Suddenly Tatiana, who was just silently working, raised her voice. Uh, I'm a little energy. Richie, get me something sweet. Alright, wait a bit. I take one of the home run chocolate bars she I have stored in my desk and walk over to her. Oh, alright, open your mouth. Here comes the plane. I try to shove it in her mouth, but she shakes her head. Now. Also, it's really hot. I want something cooled. Gives me a gadget, gadget cooled. We're all out of them. You ate them all last night, so just deal with this for now. I want some sweet and cold. She throws a tantrum. The girl is beyond control when this happens. The moment I give in and prepare to head out to buy some gadget, gadget coons and save your peers. Guys, I made some shaved ice. Let's rest for a bit. Thank you so much, Unison. I can almost see a halo over your head. I help her hand and them out. Tatiana, <laughs> I, I feel like the main character is just reading really bad script and purposely like reading the lines badly or something. Actually, anyway, Tatiana is satisfied with shaved ice too, so that solves that. Okay. Cold and sweet shaved ice. I'm digging in. Her boys become, her words become a signal. We all eat some shaved ice together. What? It's really icky. There's some there, there's some instant loud complaints. They didn't come they didn't come for no reason. The shaved ice is really bad. Huh? That's weird. I thought it'd make it better. She tilts her head in confusion. What syrup did or what syrup did you put in this? A three to three one ratio blend strawberry syrup and and mint suyu. Oh, that sounds gross. She sounds really proud of that. A three to three ratio is just one to one. How do you even think to add mint mint suyu to it? What in what world would that be a good idea? The TV uh, the TV said that you need salt in summer because you sweat a lot, so I add a lot of it. Ugh. And that's why you added mint suyu. Mint suyu on shaved ice. The idea leaves me dumbfounded. She could have at least left that just mint suyu, but we'd only have to eat some cold sauce. Sincere, but since she had strawberry syrup, it's resulted in something absolutely displeasing. I can't eat this. I need gadget gadget coots instead. Granji, go get me some. Tatiana becomes rowdy again. It doesn't end there. I really can't compose three whole pieces until the end of the week. Not in this heat anyway. Granji, fan me with that fan. Be enough. Uh, uh, get me fast enough to get a dislocated shoulder. Reggie, the fact that you don't understand my work means you need more training. Here's some advice. Don't read it, but feel it. Raw feeling! Oh, 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 yeah, I forgot to top it with salt kelp. It'll be really good then. Reggie Coon, Reggie Coon, can't you come and taste it? No. Everyone just says what they want to make make, make it more more of a messy work environment. I naturally ship my gaze to Atsumi san. Atsumi san, help! Why should I? I try to fault you in that situation, right? Do something yourself. The responsibility is far. The responsibility. The response is far colder than shaved ice. It makes me feel generally down. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. Oh, and what would that be? We are returning from the new world. You were the one who stayed there the longest, right? What are you and HRA doing? Having the roughest, roughest of sex. Eh? Natsumi san's words prompt a flash of recollection. What is there? One final so Oh, no. Me, my and Raina son's final conversation, the scene we saw together, and my final kiss. The final kiss she gave me was only on the cheek, so, but still. What's with that face? Don't tell me that something happened between you two. Yeah, she really likes what what in the butt, if you know what I mean. No, nothing at all. We just said goodbye. That's it. That behavior, that pish, suspicious. Do you take advantage of the fact that it's the last time and do something you shouldn't have? Tell me. 
Are you a detective or something? Your intuition is impossible. No, <clears throat> no, we didn't do anything. That's worth saying here. I see. So you did do something you can't say here. And what would that be? She is a leaker, if you know what I mean. Ah, what's up, Natsumi? Did my boy do something? Or someone? Oh no, we've been joined by the worst possible scenario. Um, I'm, I'm asking Reggie about what he did in the end. In the end, <laughs> yeah, we did. Warrior son instantly latches on to the subject. What, my boy? That world was falling apart. He and Raina actually doing the, you know what, the Timmy Tango, the get down and get groove. Don't make it worse. It was just a kiss. A reflective shout causes a stir. Reggie, I was wondering why you're taking so long to return. I thought it was nothing much. I think you were just talking to her or something. But you and her were actually doing something, something like that. Don't get jelly. Just because a dead girl got farther than you will ever will. Natsumi san's voice turned sharp. I can almost see the dark aura about her. Yeah. Hey, about. It's not like we. Oh, it's not like we were kissing. She kissed me, is the bare expression. Come on now, my boy. A man shouldn't say that. Regardless of the situation, that's a real unmanly excuse. Kissing and telling, right? He makes a serious expression. Says something that I can't actually agree with, or can actually agree with. Yeah, Rich Coon. That's so good. Randy, you suck. You're the enemy of womankind. Yeah. No, a man who kisses Rich Ray is also an enemy of mankind. That makes you an en my enemy as well. How dare you take advantage of the situation to steal her lips? Inexcusable. She kissed me on the cheek, dude. I didn't do anything like that. It was just on the cheek. Did Ruh do it? Or did Tree? Whatever. I don't want to hear it. Natsumi san. Um, sorry? It's not like we're dating. What the hell? What are you apologizing for? Your voice is surprisingly flat, so cold it can freeze you to death. I don't care about what our part timer does, just keep being the light novel man you are for all I care. But words sting me, like, really hard. Granji, you're so popular. Are you making me I'm making a harem? Then I'll join you when I grow up. It'll be thanks for being my attendant. Do you even know what a harem means, dude? Although, ter I think harem in the Arabic sense, if I remember correctly, doesn't necessarily mean sexual. I could be wrong, but. I'll have to look that up next time I get a chance. This isn't harem Arabic or something like that. Anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not something you do as thanks. Do you know what a harem is? No, Luigi, game development needs not to torture normies. How dare you defy your mentors teaching so severely. Farewell, then I challenge you to harem holy war here in the real world. Hey, you wish I'll give our all and determine which one of us is the true harem king. Calm down, Aruka-san. I'm not even become a harem king. Yeah, I don't get why, but I'm pissed. Seriously pissed. Reggie, come with me. We're going to karaoke. I have a band from the last place, but I found another place where I can go in and accept my time there indefinitely. I thoroughly refuse. I gotta say, though, I'm impressed that you still insist to go to karaoke by yourself. Um, Awari-san? I tried to get him to help me, but... All right, I have an idea for our next game. It's a dating sim based on Rage-Kun. It'll be set in a game development company. It'll be all about a young part-timer doing this and that with his female colleagues. There already is a game like that. I mean, I don't know anything about that. No, there is. I just don't remember the name of it. But yeah, it's a game development company about a, a man who basically gets it on with all of his female colleagues. But I forgot its name. I really actually don't remember its name. I never actually played it. I just remember running across it somewhere. And no, I didn't actually play it. No, of course, it'll be 18 plus. Warrior Sun's breathing is ragged. And oh no, he's losing his delusions. Or he's lost his delusions. When the mess reaches its peak, Yuna Sun suddenly raises her voice. Oh, oh no, it's almost 12 o'clock. All right, it's August 19th. That's right, we avoided it, didn't we? Uh, okay. Yeah, we saved Tokyo, but nobody knows about it. Wait, didn't we have that video and everything? Or, but uh, the missiles actually drop? They just won't. If it does happen, though, it's well known that the one to die first will be Ruka. Why am I the first? I don't understand. That's because of how you always are. Also, in horror films and the like, the last person is always the one to die first. I think you fit the role. That's true, actually. You know, that somewhat hurts. Ah, it's almost time. A minute left. 50, se 50 seconds left. 40 seconds left. 30 seconds left. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Dot, dot, dot. It's 12 o'clock. Of course, nothing happens. No missiles come, and the world doesn't end. 
<laughs> Asumi-san suddenly giggles and everyone else laughs with her. Despite everything, we are still worried about this. With the tension gone, all we can do is laugh out loud. LOL. Yeah, our world isn't over. Strange as it is, it will continue just as it was. Our world has begun. Warsan ma words make everyone nod. All right, back to development. We haven't, we don't have much time left until the live stream. Looks like our summer is far from over. In fact, it's just beginning. Hold on, Reggie. What's with these instructions? Am I really supposed to die on characters based on this? Uh, yes. What's the problem? That's a cute rabbit mascot character. I can't draw that. Hey, don't decide what that you can't. And I don't expect anything that fit everyone's taste from your work. Just make something that you feel would be popular. I'll s I see. I'll try that. Oh, Regicune. Regicune. These lines right here are slightly off. Oh, no. Eh, but I just copied what you gave me. Regicune, you shouldn't trust others' work that much. You have to think about yourself. No, you shouldn't. You should make sure I can trust it. What's the point of splitting the, splitting the work if I can't? Reggie, did you listen to the rough BGM sample I gave you? Where's the feedback? Sample? But it's just you humming. What kind of feedback can I give to that? It's all just noise to me. Uh, my conversation is just noise. Something's wrong with your ears. I don't want to hear that from you, of all people. Reggie, that cheap bad shit guys make me feel bad. Hurry up and buy me some gadget gadget coins. Huh? We don't have time for that. It's almost lunchtime, so bear it. Reggie resisted. My attendant is attending me. In fact, I'd like it if someone was attending to me. Oh, you mean like, you know, mouth kisses? Oh ho ho, you want, you want me to take care of you? Then let's go buy some gadget gadget coins. I'll feed one to you. Hold on, if I didn't need to be looked after, I wouldn't mind doing it. Alright, here comes everyone. What the day? You look after someone as if if you can. There's something that should be done by an older lady. Right, Reggie? Well, maybe I should do it then. I'm his assistant, so it's my job after all. Um, forget about me and go back to work, please. <laughs> Reggie, the trial is here. Your mentor shall take care of the aftermath. Just so gather your wits and go forth. Well, it looks like this crunch time will be followed by something even more dangerous for him. Huh, this kind of danger is given for all light double men. Reggie, let your instincts let loose and march forth. Danger! Though, do your best to make sure no one's seriously hurt. That would be the end of Judgment 7. You two, stop talking nonsense and go back to work, please! Natsumi-san, Asuna-san, Yuna-san, Tatiana, you do what I say, too. Uh, Natsumi-san, you make a sketch of a cute rabbit. Yuna-san, you look through your work again. Asuna-san, you make a pro proper demo instead of just humming. And Tatiana, you go to the shop by yourself. Got it? Good. Now go! Yeah, you snipped. I see, so Regicune is a youth that snaps easily. Hold on, Reggie. What are you ordering? It's like you're in charge. You're acting like a director. Agreed. He's acting all high and mighty. Like a director? I am. I am. A director. Get to, get to work, everyone. Or, man. Wari is perverted as always. Aruka san is delusional as always. Natsumi is chaotic as always. Saw san is unfortunate as always. Yu san is airhead as always. Tatiana is childish as always. And I'm playing, right? I am, aren't I? Neither Tokyo nor the in-world end today, but Judgment 7 is hopeless as always. I'd say this is all right, after all. This is how Judgment 7 is supposed to be. The summer still goes on, the base is burning. It's crunch time, and the situation is downright hellish. Despite that, I find this hecticness to be somewhat comfortable. We will remain here and continue making our games. This will go on for a long time. We'll beat the heat with our passion for our work. That's not how that works. And I'll be doing my best to become the greatest director these quirky people can get. After all, those are the feelings Rain Asan entrusted in me. And it's the first real dream I, that I, a person who's lived his life doing nothing special, ever had. The end. Watch over us, Rain Asan. The end? Come on, man. <laughs>